In this week's video, I'm going to explain why a three and a half hour road trip for just a four hour eco tour boat ride is totally worth it. I say three and a half hours for some perspective because I realize not everyone lives near the water. But if you live close enough like we do, an eco tour day trip is probably something at least worth checking out to see if it is an excursion you would like to add on your homeschooling calendar. So what is an eco tour? Well, the definition can vary, but from our standpoint, it is tourism with a focus on nature and wildlife that generally will be associated with educational experiences. Our eco tour was based out of Charleston, South Carolina, and the company was Barrier Island Eco Tours. Now, regardless of where you live in the country, most major beaches will have some form of an eco tour you can consider doing. Our tour started in the morning and was essentially broken up into two parts. Everything that you're gonna learn while you're on the boat and everything that you're gonna learn while you're on the island. On the boat, the naturalist guide will spend time discussing various topics such as the ecology of salt marshes, species identification, oyster bed communities, and much more. Another interesting thing that we saw and you might see on your eco tour was watching the guide pull up a crab trap they had placed out earlier that morning. He then went up and down the boat talking about the biology and adaptations of the crab. For example, why do they have one big claw and one small claw? And what happens to the big claw if it gets amputated? Because those claws are delicious. So after a few hours on the boat learning about marine biology and saltwater ecology, it was time to disembark and get on the island. This was a really fun, essentially a walking classroom where your guide will continue on the topics of ecology, marine life, and habitat preservation. And as a party bonus, all the while the kids are learning, the adults can sit back, relax on this island, and perhaps rekindle a few fond hobbies from the past, like photography. One thing that was really cool, and this has only happened to me for the second time in my life, was seeing a bald eagle in the wild. Interestingly enough, the first time this happened was actually a month ago when we were in Alaska. And if you hadn't seen the videos about how to do Alaska with your kids, definitely check them out. Then of course, it's time for the boat ride back. There's more learning about the topics that we mentioned. The entire trip can take anywhere between three and a half to five hours, depending on the type of tour that you purchase. A lot of these tours at various beaches will offer homeschool or educational discounts. So for example, we were part of a homeschooling group. We didn't know the other families on the trip but this was planned by the group coordinator and because of that we were able to get a group discount and it was really nice and because for us it lasted about four hours we still had the rest of the afternoon in charleston to enjoy before we had the three and a half hour trip back home actually see another bald eagle and get some really adorable footage for these otters that were totally hamming it up for the camera So this was a quick video to make you aware about the possibility of doing an eco tour in your local beach or on your next beach vacation. If you enjoyed the video, do the likes and subscribes and all those things down below. Have a great day and I'll see you next week.